Welcome back. In this video we're going to take a look at the importance of creating groups as we're working through our models. As you can see I'm already in an existing sketch and I need to start a new one. So from this screen I can click the file in the top left corner and press new. This gives me some options for templates to use and because we live in America we will use feet and inches. This is going to open up a new workspace for us, and you can see the lady speaking on her phone, which we can go ahead and erase. There we go. Now we're going to draw a square, and we'll make it 10 inches by 10 inches by 10 inches. So using our rectangle tool and starting at the origin, we're going to click and drag and as you know, we can type in our dimensions manually, 10, 10, and press enter to get the size that we would like. Now we're going to use our push-pull tool and pull this into three dimensions, again, manually typing in our specified dimension of 10 inches. And now we have our 10 by 10 by 10 cube. As you saw in the previous video, if we simply at this point attempt to move part of our shape, part of our object, it is not grouped together. All of the parts are individual and you can see the distortion happening in our object. Sometimes this is what you want to happen and other times what you would like is for the object to move as a whole. So from here I'm going to press escape to cancel that movement and again I'm simply going to use my select tool and triple click on my object. That triple click action selects the entire object, everything associated with it. And now I can right click and press make group. At this point, grabbing my move tool from the toolbar on the left and clicking anywhere on my object, the object maintains its integrity and moves as a single unit. At this point, if I were to grab my line tool and continue to draw an additional shape, and as you can see, I'm not being terribly specific on the size of this object, and I'm going to pull this three-dimensional down parallel with my other object. I now have two objects that are side by side. Because I grouped my first object, I can still move it independent of the object I just drew. However, if I do not make my new object into its own group and simply begin drawing the next shape adjacent to it, like this, again a random shape with no specific dimensions, and I pull it into three dimensions, now I cannot separate these two objects. They are in fact one complete object. If I grab my move tool and I grab this line both objects are distorted and if I triple click on one of the objects to make it a group you can see that both objects are created. Because of this if I want to create two separate objects here I have to delete the object most recently created and I can do that by grabbing my eraser tool and starting to click through all of the lines that I've drawn. Now I can make my second object into a group by triple clicking and pressing make group and then I can begin drawing my new object which I will turn into its own group. I now have three completely independent objects that I can use my move tool and I can move anywhere in the canvas that I would like independent of each other. I hope that now, having seen this example, you understand the importance 
of creating a group out of every object you create before moving on to the next object in your sketch. When it comes time to draw a piece of furniture, not doing this each time you create a piece of your, of your furniture will cost you lots of time in going back and redrawing things so that you can group them together properly.